Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share a few items that I found in my local park over the weekend. I was taking a walk and I noticed that the rain had washed away some mud in the area and I was able to find these two silver or silver plated forks. They're not actually silver. This little paring knife and this spoon which claims to have been made of stainless steel and it was made in Japan. I'm guessing these items have been sitting there for about 50 years. The spoon would certainly support that theory based on the fact that it was made in Japan and not China, with Japan being the main importer of cheap junk into the U.S. in the 60s and early 70s. If we look at the little paring knife, something that I thought was interesting about this one was that when I found it, it was covered in mud, but I was able to wipe the mud off with my fingers. And the only real, what we would call damage to this knife, was this little bit of discoloration here. The handles, however, are more or less destroyed because they're wood and they're rotted away. It had little either brass or copper rivets. I think it's brass. And I believe that if I was able to possibly pop these off, I could actually salvage this blade. Which, you can't see it from the camera, but it says on here, instead of a... I don't know if they called it laser marking back then, but a marking. Good housekeeping institute made in the USA. The type of stainless steel isn't specified, but I think it's interesting to note that while we have what we call super steels today, this little knife probably sat in the woods for at least, at least 40, if not 50 years in the mud and with a little bit of basic cleaning and some dish liquid, I was able to bring the blade back to this. So imagine how much longer your modern folder would last if your titanium handle and M390 blade fell in the mud and sat there for a hundred years. I imagine there'd be very little damage to it.